Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, Friday, May 6th. Thank you so much for being here today. I like to return to Proverbs 4 frequently because it's such a key passage and as such great insight for us. But there's a command here of great urgency that Solomon actually repeats what his father David told him. Whatever you do, get wisdom. Though it costs you all you have, get wisdom. My wife Ruth wrote a book for, it's called Get Wisdom. It's huge for us. It's got to be our main pursuit. And that's the main focus of Proverbs chapter 4. Getting wisdom. Why? So we can protect our hearts, our inner person. The only thing that will really do that is the wisdom of God's Spirit living and active within us. So there's a great urgency here in this chapter, and I think I appreciate that urgency. And I just want to look at, real briefly at a couple of lines here towards the end of the chapter that talk about the way our vision works. And this is crucial for us. The eyes are mentioned twice here in, in, at the end of the book, in the chapter. Solomon says, my son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. In other words, these words of truth, these words of wisdom that you're supposed to invest everything you have to keep. Then he says, don't let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. He's not primarily talking about here words on this page because they didn't have a printed Bible. The only thing that was written down was at the temple. They may have seen the priest opening the scrolls, but folks didn't have Bibles, Bible apps, programs, books laying around their home. What they had were these words of the parents, the words of the fathers, urging their children to truth. So when it says, don't let them out of your sight, He's not talking about words that he's read. He's talking about these things that have so greatly sunk down deeply into his inner person that they color everything that he sees, that the child sees, that the daughter sees. Imagine that kind of relationship with the Word of God where it's so vibrant that the truths are directing your eyes and you're seeing truth all around you. You look at somebody doing something, and you're seeing the truth of what they're doing. You're able to discern a lie. You're able to discern somebody who winks with his eye, or someone who will talk all the time, or someone who is not acting in a way that is appropriate, but because you've bought into what the Proverbs teach, and you've pursued wisdom, and it's become your own, you can actually see it. You see the truths being lived out right in front of you. That's what will protect you and me. This is what will protect our children. So now, when we lead a little bit further down, most of your translations will read this. Let your eyes look straight ahead, fix your gaze directly before you. But in the context of the passage, I, I chose to look at of Bruce Walkie's commentary and translation of the Hebrew here, it says, let your eyes look straight ahead, exactly the same as our English translations, but instead of gaze, let your pupils look straight in front of you. Let your pupils look straight in front of you. Okay, what's the deal about pupils? Well, as we know, our eyes, all they do is let light in. Everything you and I see, you looking at, if you're looking at me right now, if you're looking around you, all your eyes are doing is letting the light in through your pupil, and it runs into your brain. Over 30 to 50% of your brain's activity has to do with vision, and it's processing all this stuff in our brain. These truths of God that are to be living and active, sink deep into us. They're to give real life to all the things that you and I see. 
So when I see someone's actions, I'm keeping my gaze straight. I'm letting the pure light of scripture, the truth, actually impact me. So I'm not words on a page. As significant now, the blessing now that we have, we can actually do that. But I'm looking at life and I'm seeing scripture, the words of the Holy Spirit, the truth of the Holy Spirit, lived out in front of me like a big live play. This is what allows me to have discernment. This is what allows me to interpret people's actions. This is why Solomon is stressing here once again. Keep these things in front of us. Let your pupils look straight ahead of you. In the Gospels, Jesus says and warns, don't let shaky light into your body because if light is bad it will influence your whole body in other words don't let things that interpret the world differently than what the Bible says influence your actions rather let your pupils let your eyes be the portal that light comes into your body comes into your mind into your brain you interpret it based upon the wisdom that you have gained from Scripture. And your eyes then tell you, that light tells you the scene that's being played out in front of you. Not in printed words, but in real life. See, this gives such meaning, such great vision for us. The Bible's truths literally come alive as we've invested in them. That they have become our light and the life. That's why Jesus is so concerned about it in the Gospels. If the light is bad, that interpretation is bad, it'll mess up your entire life. But if that interpretation is right, consistent with what God's Word says, then you're reading people in the way that God wants you to read. You're reading situations. You can spot greed, idolatry, when someone's trying to take advantage of you. You can look at people's eyes their actions, and discern where they are because the Word of God is living and active within you. That's the goal of Proverbs chapter 4. And that's our goal for this passage today. Keep your eyes looking straight ahead so that what you see is the brilliance of God's Word directing you, which is why Scripture needs to become something that we know and love and embrace, not for the sake of strict memory, but because, as Moses said, these words are our life. Let God's truth have that impact on you this day. Keep your eyes fixed straight ahead on the beautiful truth of God. And that's the truth that we look at for this day. Thank you for being here. Check us out every day, talk 247com if you haven't subscribed, turn on post notifications. The videos will come right to you. Again, thanks so much for your feedback, your support. If you have any questions on this, message me. And next Friday, we'll be doing the second uh, Q&A Friday. So, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great day. Bye-bye.